Hello everybody, it's Everall Level 4 for another episode of Final Fantasy X2 HD. In the last episode, we finished off what we need to do in the Thunder Plains over here. And, uh, now, uh, I should probably get back on the ship, actually. We're gonna head to Makalania Woods. And, uh, see what the, uh, end of, uh, everything there with, uh, Awaka and company. I mean, what do you say we take charge of cleaning up Spira? Is it, it's our turn to do something. Not only to bang it on the guys pulling it off alone. Yeah, really. As far as Shuyin goes, all we gotta do is talk to him, right? If he loves Len, he'll listen. Yeah. I hope so. Anyway. So yeah, we're all finished with Thunder Plains. We got somewhere, somewhere in the category of 86%. Uh, but yeah, the woods are dying. How long till they disappear? So, over here, uh, we're not gonna see too much in the, uh, in the woods here. That's still the way to Bavel. Because, uh, the Guado have returned to Guado Salam. Uh, this guy isn't here. Nobody's here as far as I know. But, uh, there is still... There is still something for us. Uh, is it this? No, not this spring. This spring is beautiful, though. It was the other one. Is it just on this screen? Now this goes out to the moon flow, right? I have to go around, right? Shoot! <sighs> okay, I'll meet you guys. I'm gonna have to reload my save because I don't want to do this yet. I'll meet you guys. I'll meet you guys later. Anyway, kids, this is why you make frequent saves. Because you might do something stupid. <laughs> We're not going to the Comlands for for a bit, even though um, it would expedite some of the stuff I could do off screen. What do we have here? A Rune Bracer. That's cool. But uh, yeah, what we want to do is head to the uh, that spring where we found Trommel, which, as far as I know is at the other end of the, uh, fancy road here. Yeah, that's the exit to Makalania, uh, Lake. Lake Makalania. Out over here, we just have a single guado. Right? No, person. The Guado who sought shelter in these woods have returned home to Guado Salam. They are accompanied by Makalania's other races who had already begun to fade away with this place. Alas, these woods have grown far too quiet. The woods are so empty. I guess this place doesn't have much time left. Kinda sad to think that all of this will be gone, huh? At least, we have our memories. Indeed. But yeah, um... This only happens if you save the Guado, obviously, and gathered all of the, uh... Musicians, so uh, only if they actually did all return. But now, um, now we're gonna head to that that other spring that I found. So I'll meet you in a moment. Yeah, the the other the other the U-shaped one. Speaking of memories.
Hey guys, mind giving me a moment alone? Why? Mm-hmm. Got it. Come on, Payne. Uh, sure. I'm not ready to call this just a memory. Not yet. Hmm. There's still hope. And that's episode complete for Makalania Woods. And we get the Ray of Hope garment grid out of that too. Now, interestingly enough, there's actually another episode complete that we can get in Makalania because of the Awaka Agency. So we have to go to Lake Makalania for that one. I don't know if it's going to let us warp directly, but we'll see. Let's just check out the uh, our new garment grade. Luck plus thirty. Wow. Or luck plus sixty total. That sounds neat. That sound. That sounds like you could have a lot of fun with it. Let's just do ourselves a little, little safety save over here. And I remember when I was doing my original Let's Play of Final Fantasy X on the PlayStation 3, I actually ran out of hard drive space because of all the saves that I had to make. Oh, I'm glad I have a bigger hard drive. No need for words, Uni, I understand. So what's so special about that spring? Uh, sorry, forget I asked. Okay, so yeah, let's, let's head back. Is it still a hot spot? No. That's weird. The woods will silently fade away, leaving only memories. But, uh, okay. So the travel agency, we have to head up and around over here, so I'll meet you there. So we just have to head uh, to the top of this screen instead of going to the right. And here we are. Ye drunk, ye sorry bum back here. <laughs> ye cast away the family business and ran off for the hills. Gone a whole year ye were. And ye call yourself a walker the 24th. But, but you opened the store again without even telling me. Why, I only left back then because my job was gone. Well, I couldn't help it. I got an itch for peddling, I did. <laughs> oh... Oh, get in here. Don't want you catching cold. Brother? I'm right ready to pound some business sense into that hapless head of yours. But this doesn't strike me as the best place for getting customers. Don't be a dunderhead. Open your eyes, lad. Maybe he failed to notice our biggest customer has just graced us with her presence. Lady Yuna. Hello. Nope. Now's your chance to practice, lad. Do it just like I taught ye. All right. Well, welcome to Owakas. No, louder. You buffoon! Put some spine into it, lad. Follow me example. Welcome to Owakas. Ahem, welcome to Owakas. No, 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 uh, uh, walkers, welcome to. Gah, that's not right. <laughs> Read my lips. Welcome to a walkers. Welcome to a walkers. Read your lips. Welcome to a walkers. 
You see Payne walking off over there? I didn't ask and Riku's walking off too. Everything's returned to normal, I guess. Ugh, oh, that's amazing. I love it. Episode complete. So yeah, we got two episode completes here. Uh, so that's actually kind of interesting. Uh, I guess that episode complete isn't necessary for the mascot because yeah, I just said what it was. Whoops. Uh, because uh, can we go this way? Why not? Because it didn't shove us back on the airship. That's interesting. This is just one per area. And Juan's Welcome how you to doing? Weakers. Awakas. Awakas. Are you open? Uh, but yeah, Awakas has some really cool stuff. Uh, as you can see, we got lots of really rare accessories. We got stuff like a safety bit. We got uh, all the stuff that gives you eater. You know the 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 eater and uh, the ga spells. Um, adds confusion and uh, to attacks, adds berserk to attacks, slow, stop, so yeah, really great stuff if you want it. Wow. And uh, they'll excuse me once, uh, Awaka has the same thing <laughs> over here, but he also has some of the stuff we've been finding in, in like rare chests, like the lore things. So, um, We'll find this eventually, I'm pretty sure, but yeah, swordplay, bushido, arcane, instinct, black magic, and white magic stuff. So if we want any of these, uh, we'll find it here. I could have sworn we found a white lore somewhere, but maybe I'm thinking of the garment grid. But uh, we have 779,000 gil, so if I want, I could have these things. Uh, I don't need it at the moment, though. Uh, but yeah, very, very cool. Uh, it's a great reward for helping Awaka out throughout the game. But uh, for now, welcome to Awaka. Welcome to Awaka, did I say it right? Riga must be jealous once his older brother's actually reliable. Yikes! Uh, but yeah, now that we're done with that, we are actually going to go to. Beacamel Desert! A legendary fiend that sleeps beneath the sand is awoken. Both the camp and the Cocktar Nation are in danger. Scramble goings! And we're at 87%. The, um. Makalania stuff gave us 0.6 there. So, this is another area that we're gonna have trouble with getting the episode complete right away. Because it involves killing a Boy, super boss. Am I glad you're here? Matsakiak. Let me guess. We've got a prickly situation. Fiends are attacking the Cactuar Nation. We'll take care of it. Benzo, let's go. I was wrong. She doesn't get dragged into trouble. She jumps in head first. <laughs> God! I hope we don't have to fight all those. Oh, there it is. <laughs> These are no garden variety fiends. That's our super boss. Let's friend. ask Barnla. She knows more than I do. Sure, okay. Marnala, do you know what's going on? An ancient and terrifying fiend that has long slept beneath the earth has awoken. That fiend is now headed here. We must lose no time in raising the great Haboob. Only the ten gatekeepers are capable of raising this magical barrier. You must gather them before the last of my power wanes. That's the gist of it. Yuna!
Oh, there's a lot of these guys. Get back! Whoa! That's wild. She's struggling just to buy us time. Please find the gatekeepers before Marnala's strength gives out. All right, so now we actually have a mission time. The ten gatekeepers have ventured into world proper to train. Round them up and bring them home to the Cactar Nation. Think you can unravel a Cactar Mondo's clues and stiff them out? So we're actually not doing that today. Uh which is kind of sad, but um, we are, I would have done it today, except two of them are in the Comlands, and I don't want to go to the Comlands yet. So um, what I think we're going to do is come back here later. I'm sorry. What's the green thing over here? Talk to the cactus. I am Lobivius Mild, is just the thing. Lobivius was supposed to head north to the Oasis with his friends. I haven't heard a thing from him since. I suppose Lobivius always had a bit of a wanderlust. He's probably off wasting time in good-for-nothing places at this very moment. Call his mother. That's call his mother with instinct. Okay, well, let's... Let's get out of here, I guess. Uh, luckily, they can just hold off the... Okay, we can't just leave here. You do have, like, the map there from the original game. They're gonna be able to hold off the uh, the enemies as long as we force them to. So good for us, I guess. Um, what does this one say? Translate. That is the lair of the rogue cactars, becoming a fine cactus protecting the desert. Those who forsake this duty flee there. Naturally, the entrance is sealed. Be careful That's not to get too close. Okay, so we'll deal with that later. Last, I thought you would never leave. Yeah. So, so the Cactar mission is is going to be interesting for us. Uh, I'm just going to save before anything. But our main job over here is actually to start working on the uh, digging. <laughs> uh, so let's see. So in order to get the episode complete in Beaconel Desert, though, you have to gather all the cactars. Um, you can only gather a few of them at the beginning of the game, and you may as well just do it all now. Uh, so you can only gather, uh, you have to gather all the cactars, and you have to defeat a whole bunch of bosses. And uh, eventually, eventually you'll uh, you'll succeed. So this is going to be this is going to be difficult for us. Um, Yeah. We... Yeah, so we're just gonna try to do some digging now, though, because, uh, that's pretty much, that's pretty much what I have to do in order to get the, finish up the stuff at, uh, Jose. So we can go to the Oasis where there is a a cactar, but I'd really like to just do that all in the same episode, if at all possible. Uh, so let me just see, I have a chart here with stuff that says where I can find what. Um, yeah, that's that. Because there's, there's a bunch of different places where you can actually find things. Here. Um, to the oasis. Da, 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 da. Okay, so the oasis you can find a caravan that sells accessories. We're not going to deal with that right now. Um, I don't really care about the wages that we get, we're really just here to find parts. Uh, let's see. 
for specific parts only anyway. Don't think so. We also obviously need to find all bed primers to finish that up. Um, also, as you can see, Central Expanse is not accessible to us. We need to, we can only unlock that by sending a chocobo there, but that is only available once we do the uh, stuff with um, Clasco. So we're not getting there yet either. Uh, let's, I guess, go to the to the Western Expanse for now. And I have a list here of the parts and what we what we need to find um, and we'll talk about it as I as I find stuff I guess Adamantoy's coin I would also try to just save in between like runs so that you don't lose all your that's strange what's strange What, that you didn't find anything? Alright, treasure! Where? Oh, did I go too far? Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, am I gonna even make it back in time here? There's no yellow... there's no yellow X. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I see stuff down there, fine. Just what we're after. Boo. Okay. Um. Do I talk to you? No. Okay, there we go. Uh, so where do I want to go? The eastern and northern expanses, I, I don't think I've visited yet. Okay, and yeah, the ranks that you have in the in the digging don't mean anything except for you know what you what you make. So don't don't worry about that. I also want to try to find more, more primers. here cool if you want to just expedite things you can pick up okay one sec oh, no why does that have to yeah yeah yeah. Why, why does time have to keep going there we go uh so that's a defense assembly s so the s is worth three points you need a total of 38 points in each category in order to have the level five of the experiment so, uh, just keep that in mind as well. Dollar coin. So we're mostly just going to be finding coins here. Yay, a primer. Cool. That's really all I need to do. Let's get back. So, uh, I had a level 2 in attack, a level 3 in uh, special, but only level 1 in defense, so um, I'm gonna just assume that I had the minimum numbers for each thing there, so uh, that would be 4 points out of 38 in attack, uh, 3 out of, or 0 out of, out of 38 in defense, and 10 out of 38 in special, so... Um, yeah, more or less, this is just what I'm going to be doing for the rest of the the time here. I think I think I'm going to end off the episode here. Um, whoa, that's trippy. Okay, you know what? And never mind. We have something special to do. Uh, this green X right over here is a special event that you can uh, activate once.
Oh oh. Look out! Alright, so this is a fight against the Machina Hunters. Or Machina Hunters. Not Machina Hunters, but Machina Hunters. Hunters so who happen to be Machina. Time? I love that the, uh, you know, the regular area there has the, that, like, grainy sand filter, but once you get into the battle here, it's, like, clear as anything. Don't want to use Excalibur, I just want to use it. That doesn't really matter. I took the, um, I keep the, I have the Charm Bagel still on Riku, because why not? But uh, we're going to be entering a whole bunch of battles at once over here, and it's going to end our round after that. So, uh, yeah. Good to do. Uh, but just one of these guys, though, which is kind of sad, honestly. Uh, let's see. In the... I wanted to save this for something special! In the northern expanse, if you want to search there, you can find sandworms, so that's fun. Uh, each area has like different types of items that you can get, like, you know, just, they all have different types of coins, but I don't really care about that. Uh, I love that since Yuna has the Omni Strike, uh, she just has the, uh, like, her card is just. Uh, the card she has just, like, fire, ice, lightning, and water all at once there. Uh, but let's see. So like in the Western Expanse, um, which is like the first place we went to, you can find money and like basic stuff like antidotes and echo screens and if you're lucky a mega potion, a lot of coins. Um, in the Southern Expanse, which is also an area that was open to us already, you can find um, uh, weapon, uh, item, item weapons like Grenades and fish scales and that wasn't much fun. L bombs and stuff like that. More, man, these guys. Uh, in the eastern expanse where we are, you can find uh, echo screens and high potions and mega phoenixes and power gloves and money and things like that. So like a little higher end healing items. In the northern expanse, you can find stuff like chocobo feathers and lunar curtains and uh, twin stars. So uh, status, uh, status based. Enough already! Oh, oh dang! Wow, cool. Yeah, a little too close for comfort indeed. Uh, so yeah, that's that's the stuff in the Northern Expanse. In the Central Expanse, which I said you need to send a Chocobo out there in order to find, um, you can find some really high-end uh, attack items like Far Plane Shadows and uh, M-Bombs. Um, and you can also find the Desert Key, which I'm pretty sure opens that chest that that guy's been circling around forever. But, uh, like I said, uh, if you uh, are just doing this right now for uh, the experiment stuff, uh, if you fish out a Z part, it's worth 5 points. If you fish out an S part, it's worth 3 points. And if you fish out an A part, it is worth 1 point. And uh, again, you need at least 38 points in each category uh, total to make it work. Uh, to, to get the uh, highest level of everything. Boo! And uh, I would save in between each uh, each battle here, or each, each not battle, each uh, round that you do, because there is a chance that you just run into the mega boss, the super boss. Yeah. <laughs> Here comes my trump card. 
Um, as for other things, I really don't... I really don't think that there's anything else to, to talk about about the desert here. I can... you know what? After we after we do this, I'll Thanks I'll go to the playing. oasis and we'll see what's there just to show that off. Uh, I'm not gonna find the cactar there, but uh, is there even an item here? Oh, there it is. Sometimes they just don't appear. That's interesting. Defense assembly, yes. Uh, let's... we can get one more, I think. Please don't be an enemy. Yay! Alright. Uh, so that's S. That's another three points. Three hundred gil! Okay, so, uh, yeah, let's... Let's just head out to the oasis. I don't think you can get attacked in the oasis, but I'm not sure. No, okay, we're going to pretend we don't see that guy. Uh... <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, we might not be able to, to have anything actually happen in, in the oasis till we... Uh, can I, can I leave, please? Oh, is this gonna force me? No, Whoa. okay, good. A shoe puff? What's a shoe puff doing in the middle of the desert? That's a fantastic question. It is sweltering out here, yes? Interested in buying something from the caravan? Uh, sure. Thank you. What do you have? Choker, chaos shock. Okay, so you got you got some good stuff. You can find some interesting interesting items to buy over here. Shoe, shoe pops are skinny dipping. Let's head back to camp. See you next time. So, uh, okay. So there is a 25% chance of a caravan being there, a 70% chance of finding something floating in the oasis, and a 5% chance of nothing. And of that 70% chance of finding, finding something floating in the desert, let's see, we have here 20% chance for normal treasure chest, 30% chance for an all-bed treasure chest, 20% chance for empty, 10% chance for a trash of an empty bottle, 10% ch chance of a trash or an empty can, and 10% chance of a lost dolphin being there, which is interesting. Uh, so that is going to do it for this episode. That's pretty much the basics of digging. Like I said, I'm going to uh, go and do this on my own so that my recording doesn't get obscene at all. If anything does happen, uh, I'm just going to keep recording uh, while I play over here. But uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Next time, we... Where are we? We are going to go to Bevel. Actually, no. Next episode is going to be publicity, and uh, then we'll go to Bevel in the, the following one. So, it, next episode isn't going to be publicity; it's going to be an in-between episode. But you know what I mean. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye, everybody. Bye bye. It's all or nothing. Here comes my trunk car!